Hi everyone, welcome to Anu's classroom. Today's video we are talking about business forecasting. This is the 13th unit in MMPC 5. Okay, and with this unit we are coming, we are starting the very last block that is block number 4 of MMPC 5. So let's get started. Uh, in this video we will be discussing about the forecasting of long term decisions, medium and short term decisions as well as how to control forecasts or forecast controlling. Now, the future is always uncertain, right? We do not know for sure exactly what might happen tomorrow or what might happen in the next hour, okay? So, since this uh, future is inherently uncertain and since time immemorial man has made attempts to unravel the mystery of the future, understanding forecasting especially becomes very critical, right? We are always fascinated by the future and we, uh, you know, we don't miss a chance in if we have the uh, means to even take a good guess at future, right? We go for go to astrologers. We uh, participate in any number of astro talk things, okay? And go give the kundli or talk to seers and uh, try to find out what's going to happen, right? Farm reading and everything. If we are not so interested about the future, then these guys will go out of job. So, in today's world, Predictions are being made on a daily basis, even on the realm of business, industry and politics and our daily lives. Okay, it is not something that we do not know. Okay, predictions, forecasting is very important. Forecasting and prediction, these are two different terms and they are almost the same but slightly different. Forecasting refers to the scientific methodology that is often used, okay, by using the past data along with some well-defined assumptions or so-called model, okay, to come up with a forecast of future. Okay, so forecast in that sense is objective, whereas prediction is purely subjective, okay, and it is made by, the estimate is made by an individual by using his intuitive hunch, which may or may not come true. Often forecasts are modified based on subjective judgment and experience to obtain predictions that can be used in planning and decision making. So, forecasting in order for especially for planning decisions, the primary purpose of forecasting is to provide valuable information for planning the design and operation of enterprises. These planning decisions may be classified as either long term, medium term or short term. For all these different uh, terms, okay, we have various forecasting methods also. Like for example, medium and short term forecasting, uh, it could either be subjective or intuitive methods based on a moving average of past data or simple weighted moving averages. It could either be regression models or econometric models or time series analysis or stochastic models. We have a lot of them. We will be learning uh, or trying to understand from what you can say the layman's understanding of all these various models throughout this video for all these various forecasting methods. So, let us start with forecasting for long-term decisions. Uh, long-term forecasting is generally done for a period that is range that ranges from 6 months to 5 years. Generally, when we say long-term, we mean uh, though we say 6 months to 5 years, it is generally more than a year is long-term decisions, okay? Even more than 3 years, some define it as more than 3 years also, 3 to 5 years or 10 years, that is long-term decisions. Now, the growth of a business will follow a specific curve. And many professionals call it as S-curve, okay. So, the growth of businesses, if you look at it, generally it follows the pattern like an S. And they use uh, this graf graphical tool when they are implementing the projects or product launches because it helps in measuring the progress of the life cycle. So, we can use the S-curve, okay, to understand uh, or predict the uh, future. Or we can use the Delphi method where multiple rounds of questioners are sent to a panel of experts to work towards a mutual agreement or consensus. These participants can modify their responses based on the information that is brought forth by other experts that participate in the analysis. For medium and short term decisions, we have subjective or intuitive methods like Delphi technique or committees. We have methods based on averaging of past data like calculating the moving averages or exponential smoothening. Okay, Or we can have regression models on historical data. We can go for casual or econometric models and if it is a time bound data, then we can go for time series analysis or stochastic models like uh, the secular trend model which can help understand the long term growth in the market or cyclical fluctuations which happen due to business cycles or seasonal variations like um, where uh, demand whether or not the demand is seasonal for example woolen clothes are used more in winter or if there is any random or irregular variation okay all those things we can find out now forecast control 
whenever or whatever be the system of forecast generation always we have to monitor the output of such a system to ensure that uh, the discrepancy okay the difference naturally definitely there will be difference between what you have forecasted that is your expected value uh, or predicted value and the actual value okay whatever actual actually what we are finding out from experience and uh, this discrepancy between this forecast and actual value should lie within a permissible range of random variations okay and if it is more than that then our forecast is method is totally wrong and we are going in the wrong direction we are not heading in the right, di right direction so uh, control is required when we find that the values are not within lying within range and we need a course correction so from the past data system will generate a forecast right which will be subject to modification through managerial judgment and experience and this forecast we will compare it with the current data whenever it becomes available and the error is the difference between this predicted or forecasted value and the current value okay and this error is watched and monitored to assess the adequacy of this forecast generation technique usually we can we employ the moving chart uh, which is a statistical device which uh, can be used to monitor and verify the accuracy of a forecasting system in case you are interested in having the ppt of this particular video i leave a link to it in the description below you can go there and download and if you like uh, if you have come this far thank you so much for sticking with me if you like the content let me know by giving a thumbs up if you have any doubts uh, let me know in the comment section below i'll try my best to uh, clarify it um, and all the very best for your examinations until i see you in the next video bye bye